Geht noch. Hey, time to wake up. Were you having that drink? Let's take care of takedown. Stay focused. I will prevail. Oh! Oh! Witness my power. I'll cut through. Ready and willing. Not my first fight. Attack when an ally. I must keep aiming higher. 
Hey. Captain Gerald? I appreciate your help, Doc. Of course. I assume to stop that once you have... May I ask a favor of you? I never... I am the... I wonder... I hope you've had a chance to meet him. Pardon me. Yeah. Hello. Please accept... I... of delightful... In any case, I hear you're investigating the different houses. I'm I'm guess have you met the folks from the Golden Deer? I appreciate your effort. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. I, I must the black sense So you have chosen the blue? Your heart has made its choice then. 
All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sin. They are... Brother? I am in the... No. This? Oh, my... I am... Let us focus on the topic at... In a few... We will be... Wait, does this mean our new professor is... No, I really can't believe it! But I was speaking to you so casually, as though we were companions. Oh, I am so sorry, Professor. You just look the same age as the rest of us, and... Oh, and, and I'm sorry I just said that to you. I really must watch my tongue. You say that, but I just don't know about all of this. I'll admit, it doesn't sit well with me either. After all, we wish to show you due respect. Sure, but if the professor says it's okay, shouldn't that be enough? That is, if your highness can consent to such a thing. After all, we're already speaking this way to our future king, so we may as well relax our speech with our professor too, right? Well, we're not in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. <sighs> I concede. If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept that kindness gratefully. As for me, I'm not sure I can manage. You don't have to force yourself if it's too difficult. You're fine with that too, right, professor? Come to the training ground later. There, you will show me what you're capable of. You aren't wasting any time, are you, Felix? As it were, count me in for any such battle. <laughs> Pardon me, but I would also love to observe you in battle for future reference, if that's okay with you. Ash, I won't have you speak of merely watching. You should join us as well. <laughs> if you get injured, simply say the word and I'll patch you up straight away. Your Highness, do take care not to go overboard. You worry too much to do. I'll be fine, I promise. My companions, is there not something inherently wrong with crossing blades as a way to bond with each other? Huh, I never thought of it that way. Well, if that's how you feel, I suppose you'll just stay behind while the rest of us are at the training ground? Ingrid, my dearest friend, you really are too harsh on me. Well then, Professor, what do you think? As you can see, the Blue Lion House is a lively bunch you'll find none who work harder. I'm certain we'll cause our fair share of trouble, but I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. I suspect as much, yes. 
But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. With each moon, it notes the pay careful. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Enjoy the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice but to get rid of you. Joking, of course. <laughs> 
listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. I could probably take you, though. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. What? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. provenance of our class name? The Eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagles. that I'm the only commoner in the Black Eagle house. I knew that before the first day of class. Those people are simply exhausting. Right, right. Before I came to the Officer's Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh. I guess Lawrence was at the School of Magic, too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first King of Fargus. Lug, the King of Lions wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Right, right. Speaking of... Our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. This is the Golden Deer house. You're in charge of a different house, right? Too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. Oh, Professor! Have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me? I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Hey, Teach, I hear there's going to be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Professor. I hear there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? As this is your first time at the monastery, please allow me to show you the ropes. Post, for example, I encourage... There are... There, if you fulfill the bulletin board, this pro... It's helpful. 
His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. I have a request. and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? We could try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. something I can't right now but let's fight soon I look forward to beating you this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Nice! I knew I could count on you. Ugh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Greetings. Here at the monastery, I have had many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. Hello there, Professor. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor?
The Great Tree Moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. Let's see. Anyway. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. My thanks. Maybe. Dear Goddess. Goddess, I pray to thee. Please protect us. <sighs> Professor, nothing to report. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. Question for you, if that's all right. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? Well, yes, it's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? Yes. Professor, have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. Yes, but it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Yes. Well, of course. 
Do bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. Church has changed a lot since my time. Sedith, Hanuman, Manuela, Yuritsa, and many of the knights. None of them were around 20 years ago. Professor, they're not giving you any time to settle in, are they? Don't worry, though. Should you get injured, I will care for you all through your recuperation. I will see to you oh so very, very personally. Much appreciated. It's finally time for the mock battle. I'm eager to put my skills to use. And you, Professor? I wouldn't worry too much about it. If you command us as you did back in the village, I have no doubt we'll be fine. Our opponents are mighty, that much is certain. But I'm positive we can win. Hey there, did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries, we'll just join in now. Nice try, Claude. But I do not intend to let slip our strategies. Especially when we are up against such strong opponents as you two. Well now, kind words from his kingliness. If that's the case, we'd better come up with some clever schemes so as not to disappoint. Right, Princess? Right. No matter the tactics you devise, we will destroy you. The best you can hope for is to learn a thing or two. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a friendly rivalry, but let's not get carried away. A rash attitude could be your undoing, after all. Hmm. Perhaps your time would be better spent preparing instead of worrying about the competition's mindset. Hey now, if you two were getting this fired up before the battle even starts, it'll make it that much easier for my class to sweep up a win. So please, carry on. <sighs> a good point, Claude. I apologize, that wasn't my intention. At any rate, Let's vow to make this a productive battle, shall we? Oh? In that case, I won't hold back. Oh, how precious! Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint.
It is about time for the battle to begin. Our victory depends on your leadership. Do not let us down. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Stay focused. I'll cut through. Here goes. Here we go. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <sighs> are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Dorothea, will you head toward the front lines? I wish to draw the enemy toward us. You got it, Aidy. Leave it to me. Ferdinand, Hubert, if the enemy comes, stop them. Leave it to us. Although I could do this on my own. <laughs> Clearly not. Or Her Highness would not ask me to watch your back. Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. Each battle, a chance to grow. Such power dwells within. Thank you. 
Let's use the forest to set up an ambush. I'm counting on your support, everyone. If they're waiting in the forest... Ready. Surrounded. All we can do is fight back with all our might. Should I fall back? Oops. Your princeliness. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, fess up. You'll feel better. Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. And that didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. steady. This should be enough. Goodness. 
the leadership of someone with actual battle experience is, well, I was as good as useless. As expected. I'm not setting a very good example. Compliment me like that when my class won last year. Ready. Not at my best today. I must have let my guard down. I guess that's a lot. Use caution. Professor, our only choice in this situation is a head on it. Cut through. is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. You never had a chance. Dimitri, it's time. We can finally settle the question of who's stronger. Very well. I accept your challenge. With you as my opponent, I won't hold anything back. I would expect no less. Ire, how did I fail? 
I must need to train hard. What's done is done. You make me feel safe. I'll do my best. Use caution. There can be no victory unless I defeat you. So be it. It seems I've exhausted. I have improved. My technique could use some polish. Forced to retreat? Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. Be mindful. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. You fought well. Such power dwells within. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Blue Lion House! This victory is the result of everyone's hard work. Thank you, my friends. You did well. Professor, I've been looking for you.
I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both the victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. He's right. He really is. We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor. Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, your tactics were nearly decent. Felix, you really ought to stop picking fights with His Highness. Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. And I must agree that the Professor's tactics were truly extraordinary. I have much to learn. Oh, sure. But today was exhausting. I'm so hungry I can barely stand. To be honest, so am I. Let's head to the dining hall. Together. Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but... You don't look too happy for someone who just won. You say that, but your eyes tell a different story. I know we only just met, so this may be difficult for you, but... I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. Joy can be so fleeting, after all. We're all in this together, so I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the class feels the very same. Well, come along, Professor. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow... Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, which will take place during the Wyvern Moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the Academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood? I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! 
hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltin and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. This will be our first true battle. I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you, Professor. During the mock battle, your commands were thoughtful and thorough, as was your strategy. With you on our side, I'm confident we will prevail. It seems we have some time to spare before our departure. Let's use this opportunity to prepare as best we can. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever.
be. Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. I have a request. Hey there. Oh, Professor. Hello. I was just looking for my... Well, it's... it's like a pale blue cloth. Have you seen it? <gasps> Thank you so much. Sorry. You remind me of someone I know. Please. Uh, hello. Um, if you'll excuse me. So... Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. to do what I just wanted to spar you there hey. perhaps there are 
way too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Well, everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred to a plateful of vegetables, regardless of age. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? I have agreeance. In Bridget, I am able to be wearing much lighter clothes. everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Ooh, same! I'll definitely remember that. Would you kindly do something for me?
That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. I'd rather eat alone in my room, but since that's apparently not allowed... Okay. They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Please. You know, Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess. I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some knight he is. Bored. Maybe I should go into town, but that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Ah, you can tell? I suppose being a professor has taught you how to ferret out time wasters. A moment, please. I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. I don't need luck. This... I was thinking... What about... Our first assignment is to take out some bandits. Did anyone tell Lady Rhea that people's lives are at stake? I lost my own brother to bandits. Is something someone has said at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, not my finest attempt at humor. Okay. I was thinking. Okay. Let's see. to have beaten us in the mock battle. Such a shame you aren't leading our class. I've heard your class is hunting thieves. That mission is very different from the one we were given. Anyway, it's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. We have only just arrived at the Academy, and we're already being sent out to take care of bandits. It is a noble mission, but one that will likely require battle. In practice, there is little difference between a battle and a war. Even with the support of the Knights of Seros, we must still brace ourselves for the challenge. Do you have any other questions about life at the Monastery? 
Or about battle? I hear you've been tasked with hunting down bandits, right? Meanwhile, my class is stuck with a downright peaceful mission. Sounds like you'll be fighting alongside the knights, too. Don't let the monastery down, Teach. That reminds me. The next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, which is better, strength or skill? Hello? I knew it! When it's all said and done, muscle always comes out on top. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Professor. For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal, nothing more. He's strong and skilled, sure, but don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. Felix Sylvain and I have known each other since we were children. His Highness as well. Though I should warn you that both Felix and Sylvain are a bit challenging at times. The moment I take my eyes off them, they're off causing all kinds of trouble. It's always been that way. A moment, please. Professor! Hey there. of the Iyer family. We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time-consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. All right, I will list the six great noble families. There is Kaspar's father, Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Gert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Eyer, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. There is nothing I cannot achieve. Here's an idea. I have a favor to ask. <laughs> the cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. Oh, Professor! Did you come to pray to the goddess? Me too. Shall we pray together? There's something else. 
It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? I see. The truth is, I am not a particularly devoted believer either. But it would be unbecoming for a noble like me to neglect his prayers, wouldn't it? Hey! So... Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. I have something to ask of you. Thank you for paying me a visit. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can help you with? You seem to be getting along well with the students. I would advise you to be confident in your abilities. The rest will fall into place in time. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. Guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. And bearing the unknown cr your t I can't believe it. I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodland. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. I'd like to. I don't have many chances to travel. a sea of countless books tracking down that single sought-after volume it's absolute bliss how do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life
That's so. Hmm. Word of it. My savior, thank you. They won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> I can't sing very loud. If you don't yet know the proper procedure for lectures, I will tell you all that I know.
I'd like you to explain. I don't think you understand the situation. I guess we'll do our best. I think we can manage. Here's the result, Professor. out well I can do better now Do you have experience commanding a battalion, Professor? I assume so, but if not, I'm happy to explain. What should I do? Ready. I'll give it my all. I'll cut through. I'm on it. Here goes. I'll go. Stay focused. Done is done. Thank you. 
unpredictable. No hesitation. That is that. Great work. is expected. Doing my part. <laughs> Next time, bring your friends. Stronger. wasn't with you. I aim for greatness. Have 
Have I improved some? Change for the best. You never had a chance. I must keep aiming. Should I have held back? Such power. I won, naturally.
give up. Getting... Regardless of the quality, this is a good chance for us to prove our solid- It's hard to sneak out when the professor is watching. Here's the result, professor. Starting to master. I can do better now. Am I starting to master this? This isn't so hard. <laughs> I'm starting to get it. Thank you. 
a new path to tread. Am I making progress? Professor, I just got word from the Knights that the last of the thieves have been cornered. Just as planned. They're in Xanado, the Red Canyon. We certainly can't allow those underhanded thieves to get away. Let's work together and do our best to take them down. It matters not who we're up against. They will not harm His Highness. <laughs> we're just fighting common thieves, right? I don't expect much of a challenge. Aren't you a spoil sport? I'm actually quite excited myself. Who knows? There may even be some cute lady thieves. Hmm. Well, at any rate, a real battle is a great opportunity for us to see how far we've come. True. The mock battle was a success. We'll be fine so long as we stay the course. Perhaps we are a bit overly excited, but remember that we have the knights on our side. All should be well. Ah, and speaking of the knights, I heard that Gerald is once again one of the knights of Seros. Perhaps we'll have the good fortune of seeing you two fight side by side. Oh, of course. I apologize for letting my childish whims get the better of me. In all honesty, I'm a bit jealous. My parents are no longer around. They... they died. Both of them. I'm all that remains of them now. Anyhow, I'm sorry to bore you with such things. I'd say it's nearly time for us to depart, eh, Professor? So, we are taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite.
The Red Canyon. And this is the first time I have ever been here. It's like... Let's get this battle out of the way, Professor. The thieves must have already been driven back. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! According to our information, there is a back road to the west. Let's split up and approach from the west and the front. If we advance cleverly, we attack from both sides and gain the advantage. I'll leave the rest to you, Professor. But before all else, we'll need to cross the bridge. Here we go! What should I do? Ready. I'll cut through. I'm on it. Stay focused. Here goes. I'll go. I'll give it my all. Still whole and sound, I hope. How it goes. Is this a joke? If I'd hesitated, that that would have been. Thank you. 
not good enough. Must stay focused. I'm getting stronger. I know they are just thieves, but this. <laughs> What's next? to do it. Don't hate me, please. Stay vigilant. myself. Just give up. Thank you. 
We stole this treasure. It's all ours. There's no way we're gonna give it up to some knights. This is our chance. What's 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 This worked out well. What's next? I like it. battle a chance to grow. We must all Proceed with caution. Please. 
I'll do my best. Finished already? I was hoping for Give up. I suppose. luck. Another way. Thank <sighs> you. 
Let's be careful. It's not over yet. I won't let everyone down. I hope the goddess blesses them to rest in peace. Stay vigilant. Too easy. I can feel the... Change for the better. Reassuring. Another way.
Spoiled little noble! Just die like a good little rich kid! Unfortunately for you, I will not oblige. You will regret all that you have done. Sending these blood. Yeah! <laughs> You're. It can't be. A mercenary from before? So what? Now your pals with the knights? Uh, I'll kill you and your pesky brats! <laughs> I should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. <sighs> Such power dwells within. We have defeated the thieves. We'll follow the Knight's instructions for what to do next. You led us well, Professor. it is that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and this strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Professor, we should return to the monastery soon. We're all ready for the journey. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case. You must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. We're finally back. 
I'll leave the report to Lady Rhea in your hands, Professor. Huh. Edelgard. Does the Black Eagle House have a mission to see to? Remember, on a real battlefield, one can never tell what's to come. You can never dismiss the possibility of the worst-case scenario. Take care, Edelgard. There's no need to state the obvious, Dimitri. But tell me, why the concern? Perhaps you doubt my abilities? If so, your lack of insight is disappointing. That's not what I meant. If I've offended you, I hope you'll accept my apology. Don't worry about it. Professor, we must hurry. Everyone's waiting on you. I suppose I should be off too. Try not to let her get to you, Dimitri. I promise you, there's no need for concern. Hmm. <laughs> now that's a lark. I had no idea you had a sense of humor, Professor. I'll tell you all about it. Some other time. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it in ancient times. A goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlin from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Are you simple? That's impossible! I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on, and now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist.
When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He has been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me. You sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights. And that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. Thank you so much. <sighs> that was quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? You're my friend. One of my oldest, in fact. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Do you mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny. My granny! Come on. I was eight and she was gor... That was a long time ago. Sylvain hit on Ingrid's grandmother? Wow. People can hear you. Please be quiet. When you were ten, we went to that harvest festival, and you started making eyes at a scarecrow. A scarecrow? Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were 15, you sought, relentlessly, might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwendol's daughter. Who do you suppose made peace with the Furious Lord, despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me, always for you. Every time. What a jerk. You know what? This conversation is over. I'm done. My point is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. Are you happy now?
You have spent quite some time in here engaging in such idle chatter. Do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste? You must try harder from now on. Hey, Professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. Inspirational. This flower is one that is eating insects. Is that factual too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodlin. are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, 
Flowers that thrive, despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Inspirational. Maybe. What? I desired fresh air. I have a favor to ask. What? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Yep. What do you require? Thank you. Battalions from various as we are left as they when that happens. What? Hello there. Interesting. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. If that is a polite way of calling him a goat, I'm inclined to agree. Ah, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Absolutely! I knew you'd see things my way. If you have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? If you do see anyone getting too close with flame, please inform me of it at once. I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three-second rule. Ugh.
That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. I'd rather eat alone in my room, but since that's apparently not allowed... Okay. Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. <laughs> His Highness is strong. But on the front lines, anything can happen. Losing him would be devastating for Fargus. I hope the church understands that. Let's see. Doubtless, there are times when one must take up their blade, even if there's no chance of winning. But this, it's downright senseless. Lord Lenato knows better. If he had enough allies to back his rebellion, would be a different matter. Ah, uh, my apologies. I was just thinking aloud. This whole situation is a bit too strange for my liking. Even with the necessary preparations in place, there is always a chance that something unexpected will occur. Please be ready for anything, Professor. with the knights, right? I wonder if... Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I was just wondering if someone I've been searching for might be among them. Thank you. I'm definitely gonna find him one of these days. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. I have a favor to ask of you. Are you going to fight alongside the Knights of Saros? Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? It's a noble's duty to protect the common folk, not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner. Abuse of that kind 
is no better than slavery. A proper noble must guard the people from such a fate, wouldn't you say? Precisely why true nobility is well respected. your class's assignment, by the way. Good luck subduing those treasonous nobles. some minor noble rebelling in Fargus, right? He has no chance of winning. I wonder what he hopes to achieve. Huh? Are you going along to help? Sounds like an easy victory, but good luck out there. so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top-tier mercenary professor? I do. Though, it's about so much more than being rich. It's about honor. know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Come to think of it. Here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. Maybe the gossip's wrong. Hardworking people usually don't like to make a big fuss about it. Catherine, hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I bet. take the side of the people of Dusker. I just don't understand it. Only four years ago, they murdered our king and slaughtered the soldiers and knights who were with him, all of whom were innocent. Even if he can forgive them, I can't. Not ever. What they've done is against all codes of honor and ethics. grounds are far too spread out. Feels like it takes hours to get from one area to another. And no, that's not because I'm getting lost. I'm a fully capable, mature person who never gets lost.
Thank you so much for your help. Please, Professor, there must be some mistake. Lenato would never raise arms against the Church. At least, he never said anything to me about it. Appears to be wrong with my throat. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the Goddess herself, meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the Church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? The glory of I simply must thank you, Professor. Well, Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family, Kristoff, uh, I think it was. I have a request. Thanks for your help.
Professor, I heard that you made battle alongside Catherine. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a mite difficult. Let me ask you something. I see. That might work. Professor. Thank you. I guess we'll do our best. I think we can manage. Here's the result, Professor. That worked out well. It's in my grasp. Well, that worked out. That worked out well. Am I making progress? I'm really getting the hang of this. Professor. Got through that without trouble. There's so much left to learn.
There's so much left to learn. I'm getting much better. It all makes sense. Thank you. Wow, Ash, training again? You're taking this whole night thing pretty seriously. It's just my daily training. Maybe you could stand to be a little more eager yourself? If I want to be a great knight, I've got no choice but to put the effort in. No choice? I think you're making life too difficult. Knights don't have to be perfect. All I'm saying is, I've seen some pretty sloppy knights out there. That's not going to be me. I'm going to be a proud knight, virtuous and gallant. Virtuous and gallant? Are you kidding me? If you just ride around being virtuous, people will get fed up. They'll boot you out of town. It's never wrong to have virtue, not even if it means being made an outcast. Interesting idea. You think very highly of this whole virtue thing. Say, have there been any knights who became great just by thinking highly of themselves? Think on this. Knights are supposed to protect people and earn their admiration. Isn't that right? Well, yes. So what are you saying I should do? Seize people's hearts! What do you mean? You want people to love you? Offer them something they haven't got. Guess what that is? It's you, Ash. They don't have you. Get out there, buddy. Be valiant. Help people. Here, I'll show you how it works. Uh, Sylvain, don't go bothering people. Hey there, cutie. You seem to have lots of bags there. They must be heavy. My name's Sylvain. Let me help you out. Are these going in the warehouse? Helping out those in need, I guess that's a good start. No thanks necessary. It's been enough just to be able to talk to you. Well, if you insist, how about we go get some tea? It must be fate that we met like this. I'd like to get to know you. Great night, huh? More like a great philanderer. Seems like all he wants to do is flirt with women. No, I can't allow this. I have to stop him. Good with Easy. It's all thanks to hard work.
What should I do? Ready. I'm on it. Here goes. This is what a real... I'll give it my all. Here we go. No! It's not over yet. It's just... I'll cut through. weren't ready. Have I improved? Stay focused. What's next? I'll go. My lessons are complete. Should I have held back? Move carefully. The fight continues. Is this a joke?
as expected. wasn't with you. Yeah, thanks so much. Stay vigilant. Oh! Another win. Should I have held back? Use caution. Proceed with caution. You fought well. We must all do our part. I'll give it my all.
That's how it goes. I'm starting to see results. We got through that without trouble. I can do better now. Got it. Good to go. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm starting to get... 